What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Oso oh Simplified. Let me jump right into this video. It's about how to find your purpose in life. Now this topic comes up a lot because I do watch a lot of, I guess you could call it manosphere, red pill kind of content, comes up a lot on my feed. And one of the biggest concepts especially uh, that you hear is, um, you know, you need to be on your purpose. What's your purpose? Be on your purpose, find your purpose. And I definitely think it is a hot buzzword at this point. Um, but I also think it's something that's very important and I think there is a way simpler way of kind of viewing this because I think what most people are doing is they're building the purpose up. They're building the purpose into this great Greek goddess named Purpose Elia and they're souping themselves into thinking it's some impossible feat. But basically, you know, purpose and it, finding a purpose is something that I think is more how I view serendipity. It's more of a function of the openness of your mind that you could have many different purposes depending on what period of time you you've grown up in you know what kind of experience that you've had um and then kind of your genetic makeup all mixed together this is very similar to the concept of mastery and that's really where i get a lot of my information if you want to hear kind of a review on that i mean i have reviews on this channel on on that particular book but also in the link in the description it's the first channel on my uh, book channel, um, but I digress on that. I think it's more of a function of the openness of your mind and that will lead to kind of my second point of, I think exposure, experience, and trying new things is the best way to find your purpose. Um, it's not this thing that I feel like people say, it's what you were born to do. It's like, I don't think it's necessarily what you were born to do. I do think you probably have particular inclinations, things you know you're good at, things you know that resonate with you that would be kind of closer to that direction. You know, maybe you have an athletic bent. Maybe you have more of like a strategic bent. Maybe you have, you know, more of a social bent. There might be certain things you already know. And then there's plenty of avenues that fit within that, that, you know, you could kind of gravitate to. And what it's going to be on you to do is to try new things and see what fits you the best. You know, the people that are going to be the most aimless and the most purposeless are people that probably have not tried a lot of things to really even have a difference in perspective. Um, so I definitely think exposure is one of the biggest pieces of finding your purpose. And even if you're kind of just on the quest of what you want to, you know, spend time doing, to me, that is a purpose in itself. You know, finding your purpose is a purpose. Finding yourself is a purpose. But you just need to be intentional and in actually putting actions and taking steps towards that. And kind of the last piece on that to kind of round it out is that as you take those experiences, you will start to gain data. Um, and it's going to be easier and easier to find of what resonates with you. But in the end, it's still going to take some work on you. Um, you know, you're not going to, you know, wake up and your phone is going to say, you know, this is your purpose. This is what you got to do today. It's something you're going to have to recommit to. You're going to have doubts about. Sometimes you're going to feel like maybe this isn't my purpose. This isn't what I'm supposed to do. But it's kind of pushing through that and then kind of looking at the feedback in yourself in terms of, um, you know, developing it. And I think that's probably a better word of way of saying it than finding your purpose is it's developing your purpose because you know, you're never going to feel like in, especially in the beginning stages that this is your purpose until you start to get some level of, um, competency at it. And you're not only going to get some level of competency at it. If you are kind of taking the leap of faith and putting one foot in front of the other before it really feels like the way people describe it, you know, online, I think it's become a very big buzzword that's super vague and nobody really describes, um, like, how you know you're on it, how you found it, and all these other things. But I really think it all comes down to experiences, exposure, trying new things, and then you know keep trying them and keep working at them until you gain that level of competency where you can say, you know, you know this fits me. This is, you know, maybe it's not like I wake up every day because nothing you do you're gonna feel like you want to do every day. Maybe I don't want to do it every day, but it fits me, and this is this is like pretty solid. It fits my personality and I want to work towards that to kind of achieve that end goal. So that's really it for this one. You know, uh, I think mastery is probably to me the best book on finding your purpose, um, that I've ever read. Uh, you know, I've read, you know, 
lots of books. If you want some more information about that, just go in the link in the description and go to my other channel. It's the first uh, video, but that's it for this one. So if you like the content, like, comment, subscribe. You fuck with the vibe. Welcome to the tribe. And until next time, you know what it is. Peace out.